Hello and welcome to Chandu.on. In this video, we're going to learn how to build a VBA class module and add application level events so that you could see the difference between the selected numbers in the status bar. Now, if this sounds like a bunch of really advanced stuff, believe me, it is fairly advanced. Some of the concepts I didn't even know until today. So <laughs> I'm fairly excited to talk about these and uh, showcase how you could build something that is truly powerful and interesting using Excel VBA. Uh, let me just quickly back up a minute and explain the inspiration or idea for this. I run a Facebook page called Chandu.org where I interact with community and share some information and uh, people ask me questions or tell me what kind of different things they're solving or doing. So on the Facebook page, uh, I think uh, just a couple of days ago, Istia Kshaika asked me on selecting two values, we are able to see math functions like sum, min, max, average, count, etc. in the status bar of Excel. Is there a plugin or something through which we can see the difference? That got me thinking. I did provide an answer to him when, when he asked that question. Um, about how to do it, but uh, it would only work in that current workbook. How do you make it available so that you could uh, be, it would behave like an add-in where uh, it will work on any open file? So that's what we have here. Let's say you got a bunch of numbers here. Uh, you watch the status bar here very closely. As I select them, the difference between those two will show up here as 55. Uh, you could also see average, count, min, max, sum here as well. You could add maybe a label as well, difference 55, uh, but I didn't bother with that. And that would not appear when you either select a single cell or multi-select or select more than two cells. So that's, uh, how does this work? There is no VBA in this file. It's a regular Excel file, uh, but how does it work? So that's what we're going to see. Now, um, if I want to just show it in this particular workbook or worksheet, we could go to view code and then from here uh, in the sheet three where i want to see that result i could add a worksheet selection change event this is because every time you select something excel will fire up this event and any code that you write here for example if you write something like um, um, message box msc box um, hello this is gonna be an annoying macro because every time I select something, I'll get this message, right? I select this, I get a hello. But it won't happen on other worksheets. Like on this worksheet, I can select all I want and nothing is gonna happen. But as soon as I select something here, it will happen. So that's a, a worksheet level event that is attached to that particular worksheet, sheet three uh, of this current workbook. What we wanted is we wanted an event that would fire up on all Excel workbooks that are currently open and then uh, monitor them. And every time you select something, if the selection is two cells, then we want to print the difference between those two cells in the status bar. That's what we want to do. So how do we go about it? Well, if I want to just print, uh, for example, uh, here, rather than a message box, I want to just say hello in the status bar. I could use application dot uh, status bar is equal to hello. Right? What this would do is every time you select something, uh, it will here. It's not really working uh, mainly because there is a conflicting event happening from an application level that I'm already using. Um, but uh, you know, you could, uh, for example, I will. And do this on a different thing for example application dot um, worksheet dot activate and then we will print them there hopefully that will work um, and then this event I can delete so what this does is it will print hello every time you activate that worksheet um, and then um, you go to that sheet it will print but uh, so this, you could see that the hello is keep on appearing. These events are good, but they are not what we want, right? They only work on, on the current worksheet. So the, the way to do this is to use an add-in approach. 
uh, you could create an add-in from scratch in Excel all you have to do is you create a special file called personal add-in file uh, you may already have a personal add-in file if you have uh, you can go to your developer ribbon Excel add-ins and then from there uh, you can enable the personal file now if you don't have personal here that means you haven't created a personal macro file yet um, the process for creating personal macro file is fairly simple but I don't want to deviate and explain that in this video so I'll leave a link to that in the description please go and check that out and um, and create a personal macro workbook right what personal macro workbook does is it will give you a platform where you could add these kind of additional functionality to Excel without uh, um, uh, you know over complicating things so all we wanted is every time I select two cells I want to show the difference in the status bar so once you have such a personal macro workbook you can go to view code and you can see all the open files along with the personal macro workbook here personal.xlam is my macro workbook and that's what I see so once you have that the very first thing that you need to be doing um, is to add a class module right uh, big uh, shout out to um, jkp ads and uh, and um, the great chip pearson uh, for telling me how to do this i went to their websites to learn this technique um, so i'm really grateful for both of those places where i figured out that approach i will again have those links in the article uh, where this is detailed so the the way to add a class module is you would go to your personal macros file right click on anywhere insert class module so that's the class module here uh, and then we will it will be called as class one or something you want to enable the properties and uh, name this as a CLS app or class app or something more meaningful than that and then here we will create a, a global variable uh, called as public with events app as application so app is my variable that is of the type of excel application right and then uh, we will add the event here we will go back and uh, look at this in a minute but all you need to do here is in the class module you just add a variable that is called app and then you go to insert a regular module and then this is module 2 there and then in that module we will create a variable called mc app that is of the type CLS app so we created a class called class app and then we are now making an instant for that instance for that called MC app um, using using this approach once that done we will uh, we will then have a, a macro here uh, I don't need this anymore uh, called init init or initialize or load or something like that where uh, this is again a code that I just straight away copied from JKP ads website um because it's it all it does is it it will set the mc app to nothing because we don't want uh, this to if there is something already loaded in it we will unload it and then we will create a new instance of the class app and set it there and then uh, we will set the app variable of that class to the application now this might all seem like a roundabout way but uh, what class module is really doing is it is giving you a placeholder where you define some sort of a functionality so all we wanted in the class module is we wanted a special type of class called application uh, which can handle our event so we will create that but it will not have anything you you need to actually instance it so that's what this is doing we create a new variable of the type class and then uh, set the internal app thingy to the current excel application so once this is done we go back here and then we will add app underscore selection uh, sheet selection change uh, to add such event all you have to do is within the class module you will just uh, have to select app uh, and then add any event that is available in the excel event space right so we added the sheet selection change that means anything in the she worksheets has uh, a selection change happen so this will uh, you this will receive two variables so one is the worksheet name and the other is the target uh, the range that has been selected so we start off by resetting the status bar to empty and then we will say on error go to finish this is me being really lazy here i don't want to really test the data types of the cells like what if i select a cell with text values you know there, there's no it's not possible to show the difference there 
So rather than me checking all of that, I'm saying if the, any error happens after resetting the status bar, just go to the finish and be done. And then if, if the selection dot cells dot count, so if the current selection has only two cells, only then this will work. If I have three cells or four cells, then there is no point of showing a difference. So if this is two, then the status bar shall be first cell minus cell, second cell. That's all it does. Uh, so now that we are demoing this, I can probably add a uh, word here, difference, uh, oops, uh, is that, right? And then else, uh, if, if I did not select two cells, I selected multiple cells like three or one or 75 or whatever, then I want the status bar to be blank again. Um, this is uh, probably not needed, but we'll just go with that uh, because uh, already we started off there. Um, and then that's all there is. So once you finish that, then it will start working. So this is how you can select these two cells and then you can see that the difference is 55. Um, and uh, if you did select or you select a single cell, then the, the status bar is no longer showing up. Now you may be able to further customize these kind of macros and, and develop even more code so that the message actually shows up here or it will create some other type of a information um, like maybe a message box or something else <laughs> that is more annoying or something like that. Uh, but that's uh, how you could use the class modules. I hope uh, this kind of gave you a sneak peek into how to use the class modules and how to set up a application level event that will track everything XO across all Excel um, application uh, and then show some information or update some screens or something like that for your audience. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, talk to you again in the next one. Please feel free to check the description for uh, links on how to do the personal macro for book as well as um, download this particular sample uh, code and the links to Chip Pearson and JKP Ads websites. Thank you. Bye.